forget it, you won't regret it. But I'm gonna look and I say the way. You're gonna forget it. You won't regret it. Keep your shoes up to your feet. Bring that bottom of the head. James Cowman the guy on the bike and we're back for another half-assed production here we're gonna do a rough cut run through with Julian Jackson hi everybody <laughs> well tell us a little bit about the show the title of the show is crossings yeah I was thinking about uh, nodal points maybe in a great city I think I've been living in New York so long that uh, the grid has seeped deeply into my fibers and, uh, I often think about how when I move through the city uh, or move through my life, you know, there are certain places where I land more than others. And in this body of work, I was really kind of dealing with this idea. Yeah, let's take a look at some of your large pieces out here. Horizontals, verticals, and uh, how they cross and uh, where they create energy. Now, does this relate to uh, the neoplasticism of somebody like... Uh... Mondrian, Mondrian for instance, yeah. absolutely. All absolutely. those guys. Uh, yeah, I've got that into my DNA. And uh, another thing I was noticing is that uh, am I wrong? Did you did you change over to spit painting on canvas? Because I seem to think that uh, a lot of your previous paintings were on panels. I wanted and some to. Of these are I, I've panel, been wanting to make bigger work, and uh, panels are just impractical for large work. Um, and I, I feel like the canvas surface uh, has something intrinsic about it. Yeah, there's almost a built-in grid there that you start out with. Yes. Now this is all brushwork. You're not using any airbrush or anything like that, right? I use airbrush. Uh, it's, just, it's just pure labor. So I was saying that some of these look like almost like uh, soft focus photographs. Well, maybe looking at a cityscape through the haze or a sunset, something like that? I, my, my work is not, uh, it's not strictly formal. It has an experiential quality. And, uh, experiential? My, my ideas about color and so forth really come uh, from my experience of day-to-day -day life. And, uh, this body of work was pretty much produced in the spring, so I, I've been dealing with this uh, very changeable climate that we're living in. And these are all oil, right? They're oil on canvas or a pan. The vertical and the horizontal for me has always been kind of a key uh, sort of reference to my own body. I was a dancer when I was young, and um, that, that sort of upright posture that you take uh, you know, on stage and the project, uh, the, the idea of being a vertical being on a horizontal plane really fascinates me. I mean, we live in this uh, world that's ruled by gravity, and um, and so that, that, that natural grid, it just is, it, it's, I, de I feel it in my own body. I feel it very deeply. You know? So that's where the crossing, the vertical versus the horizontal. When I see, when I see lines that are slightly askew, it makes me, uh, it makes me uncomfortable and crazy. And I know that, that artists exploit that, that sense, but in, in my work I'm trying to, I'm really trying to, de to, to de deliver a sense of peace. Let's look at some and of the stuff in the back kind of room too. These are not smaller pieces, and you've got a suite of works on panel over here. Yeah. You know, you're talking about uh, Mondrian, but uh, you don't have any of the hard edges. I mean, you're working in the horizontal and vertical, but uh, basically it's the edge is the only part that is really a hard, hard edge. Everything else is that to me is uh, soft that, that's, focus. That's where the experience comes in. That's where a life experience comes in. Outside of architecture, we don't really experience hard edges. Uh, I've always been a, a kind of a keen follower of nature. Uh, I'm very into natural history and uh, I'm very into atmosphere and light. And there aren't any edges in light or atmosphere. And, uh, so I, I try to like create a natural experience, but uh, using a, an abstract idiom. I'm not a landscape painter per se, but landscape creeps into this work. 
I also I can't deny that. I also enjoy your uh, your colors. Now tell me uh, if you were to cite someone as an influence on your work, uh, who do you look at? Uh, who do you think about? Uh, well, who do you see as your forefathers in the in the painting room? Primary sources are, are people like Rothko, of course. Um, but you know, right now there's a whole group of artists who are using light, or uh, somebody like James Terrell, who is. You know, they don't even primary. work in the material and, realm. It's all strictly about light and yeah, atmosphere and strictly about in light. real space. Exactly. Um, but you know, I, I sometimes joke that I'm trying to make uh, portable James Terrells. <laughs> They don't have to spend all the money on the real estate or the architecture. Now, what are these panels that these are on? This is some kind of a composite or? Uh, the panel is made of MDF. Uh, MDF. It's, a, it's available at everybody's local hardware store, you know, lumber okay. store. All artists know it. It's cheap. It's uh, stable. What does MDF stand for? MDF is medium density fiberboard. It's a, uh, a recycled product. It's basically sawdust and glue compressed under oh, great pressure. Oh, sawdust and glue. Yeah, and so it's uh, using all I the I had some products. for dinner last night, I think. Uh, okay, so this has been Julian Jackson here Thanks, with Captain everybody. Markell with the exhibition Crossings, right? Crossing. Yeah. Stop by if you can. Thanks for taking us on a tour. Thanks, James. And thank you, Kate. Thank you. My pleasure.